hello everyone how's it going i hope you all are doing amazing if you're new here hello welcome to my channel i'm the intuitive rose nice to meet you if you're not new here hello and welcome back i'm so happy you joined me again today so today y'all i thought we should just make a quick little video on the top three signs that someone has sent you evil eye okay i actually felt drawn to make this video today i was literally trying to take a nap and spirit was not letting me seriously so we are going to talk about the top three all right i did write down some notes uh, so evil eye what is evil eye my view on evil eye is pretty much when someone is preying on your downfall okay um it can be envy um it could be a thought someone can you know look at you and like your hair and be like oh i like your hair but in in you know their head they're like oh their hair mm, i hope their hair falls out like that's an example y'all that is pretty much what evil eye is um so yeah this could also be you know if you are doing your thing working on your self people who aren't working on themselves will project you know that envy onto you and pretty much evil eye okay so also some can you know just send this to you by looking at you but some can actually pay someone to send you evil eye okay so that is a different extent some people do that usually that's done out of extreme hatred okay um but don't worry because say for example that was ever sent to you that way your guides your spirit team will protect you they will inform you um however it can still manifest on a surface level so these are the three signs that i'm going to talk to you about the first one dropping everything that is one one of the signs that i have noticed dropping everything i mean everything it's almost like you got butter fingers seriously phone dropping out your hand your food dropping out your hand you're spilling everything um yeah like it's it's crazy but that is a sign that someone has sent you evil eye second sign that someone has sent you evil eye is when you cannot sleep at night okay and i mean the reason why you cannot sleep at night is because either your mind is racing you just you know all of a sudden just up that is your soul that is your spirit not being able to sleep because there is most likely an entity around you lurking it's almost like you become afraid of the dark y'all that's the way i can describe that it's very very strange um it's almost like you just want to sage sage cleanse and all this stuff because it's like what is going on why am i up why am i up and i'm tired so yeah that's the second sign that someone has sent you evil eye the third sign that someone has sent you evil eye is when you have a headache i don't mean a headache that's like 10 minutes five minutes no i mean this is a headache that comes to you for like it could be five seconds it could be 10 seconds it could be a minute it's very short but it's like it's random so yeah that is another sign okay it is a little strange like oh my gosh well no you might just have a headache like it's different it's very very different it's almost like there's like a pressure on a certain side there are other signs that you know evil I can be sent but these are my top three um, however let's talk about how you can send it back okay so you know being guided being protected Again, like I said, it's only going to touch you on a surface level. So you always have the opportunity, the chance to send that back to the sender, whether that is the person that is just send it, sending it to you or the person that they pay to have this sent to you. So here are some couple ways that you can send it back. 
I do recommend calling, you know, God, your guides, your ancestors forward, asking them for assistance and for protection. You can also ask them to reveal who this is. Who is this person that sent me this? Okay, so they can show you in your dreams. They can show you through conversations. They can show you through signs. You have to pay attention, but you will know. You will intuitively know. Once you put that out there, that request, best believe they will answer. So you can do an egg cleanse, okay? That is a good one. Um, it's pretty much when you grab an egg and you go over it all over your body asking that this egg may absorb any any evil intention any bad vibe ask for it to absorb it okay you're going to crack it into a cup of water you're going to let it sit there okay um i personally let it sit there for the whole day okay so you can do it that way you can add little different things to it like pepper paprika hot sauce all that okay it's gonna go back triple food okay then when you have that sit sometimes you can actually look into that cup and spirit can show you signs in that cup as well as you know who sent it they can show you an initial they can show you an image um pretty much it's pretty cool another thing that you can do is sage okay that is an easier step it's a quicker one um <laughs> and also it will show you the ones as well especially if there's people around you in the house they start coughing or saying oh that stinks I wonder why <laughs> um, so yeah make sure you have the windows open when you're saging um, make sure you have the car windows open all that okay and when you sage yourself make sure you are saging from top to bottom I mean your head your crown to your roots all right Another way to um, cleanse that evil eye is by bathing in salt. Okay, so there are some salt scrubs. Um, I know personally there's like a Himalayan salt scrub. So that is perfect. Um, you can also just grab some sea salt, hold it in your hand and just go over it, you know, all over your body um, and just ask that it may absorb again all the evil eye, um, ill intention, any bad vibes and always, always, always always call back your energy okay call back your energy every day every night because you never know someone may have your name in their mouth right now okay and the last thing is to pray all right make sure you're praying every day for protection expressing your gratitude giving your ancestors them offerings um, yeah praying to God your, your spirit team your angels Thanking them for protecting you every day, okay? Because words of prayer, they will definitely get you through the day, okay? All right, so I think that's everything. Um, so I hope this message helped someone. If you had any of these signs, let me know, all right? Feel free to comment, feel free to subscribe, feel free to like this video. I would appreciate it. With that being said, love and light, and bye-bye.